Hey guys, Britman117, welcome back to the channel. It's been a couple of months since I last released the video and I just wanted to take a couple of minutes to explain why. The simple reason is I've been too busy. Unfortunately, making these videos isn't my day job um, and my normal day job has taken up so much of my time I've just not been able to spare any time to make videos, unfortunately. The good news is that busy period of my day job has now just about come to an end, so I've managed to find a few hours spare to put this video together for you. I decided to put this loft haul video together as it's, it's a quick and easy video to put together, but after that I'll get straight back into the speed builds and the reviews. I also wanted to take a minute just to thank everyone that subscribed to the channel. It's been really positive feedback overall, so I'm really, really pleased and it just inspires me to carry on making these videos. So with that said, let's see what's in these boxes. In the first box we have two used sets purchased off of eBay. Both sets were advertised as believed to be complete and in good condition. I've not built either of these sets yet, they were simply bought and packed away for another day. First out of the box is the Pelican Dropship. The reason I wanted to buy these sets was I don't actually have a complete set of the Pelican Dropship and I was really keen to get a complete set with a box in good condition for my collection. I do have various other Pelican dropships that I have bought over the years that aren't complete. So I'm hoping with all the spares that I've got, I can build one complete set. As for the countdown set, if you've seen my other loft haul videos, you'll know that I do actually have a few of these sets already, but it's one of my favorite sets. So whenever I see one going for a good price, I just like to snap it up just so I've got plenty of spares for building mocks. Moving on to the second box, we've got a real mishmash of new sets and old sets. All of them are brand new in box, purchased by myself, either off Amazon or eBay. There are a few duplicates in there as well. First out of the box is not one, but three Covenant Wraith Ambush sets. I actually bought four of these, reason being was they were on sale for £15 each. This was quite some time ago when they'd not long been released. And the reason I wanted four is because I felt they'd play well into one of my large scale dioramas that I plan to build. Next up is a Warzone Wasp Strike, brand new in the box. It's the only one I've got in my collection so I've never built one so really looking forward to putting that together at some point. Coming out of the box next is the Capture the Flag Arctic Warthog. Again, I haven't built one of these either, so big fan of the Warthog, so looking forward to getting that together. Next up is a Covenant Watchtower. Now, I've got lots of these. Uh, I have built one. Uh, they just seem to come my way quite often. Finally in the box we have the Smuggler Interceptor, which I'm really looking forward to putting that together. I've not built one, but I think it's just such a great set. Uh, big fan of anything civilian really, because it's so limited in the world of Halo that every time they release something like that, I have to get it. Moving on to the third box, we've got more brand new sets. Some of the boxes may look a little bit scuffed. It's because everything I buy has to come through the post. There's no outlet where I am, so everything's ordered via Amazon or eBay, and sometimes the boxes get a little bit damaged. So as you can see, first out, we've got another Catch of the Flag Arctic Warthog. Next up, we've got the Brute Chopper Raid. Main reason for buying that was because it comes with the cat figure. We've got two Covenant Goblin battle suits. Next up we've got UNSC Gun Goose Rampage. That's the only one of that that I've got as far as I know. A banished Banshee Brawl. Got a banished Ghost Rush. And then another Smuggler Interceptor. I just really like those ships, really looking forward to doing something with those. And then finally a couple of figures, I don't buy an awful lot of figures, but we've got a couple of Halo heroes, we've got Captain Lasky, and I believe last one is Roland. So that's box three. 
Whilst I was uh, editing this video, I came across this additional box here. So there's a couple of bonus sets for you here. We've got the UNSC Hornet Blitz and also the Kinsano Cyclops Raid. That's just about it for this loft haul. Going forward, I plan to build every set that I've got, which I will film and turn into a speed build for you guys to watch. Some of the sets I plan to review as well, sets that spark my interest. I also plan to do some comparison videos of new sets versus old sets, just to see how they compare over the years. So if all those things sound interesting to you, then as always, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.